I'm Dump Truck DS, and this is Mapping for Quake. In this episode, we're going to make a variation of the grunt, and uh, we're going to give him a quad damage effect, uh, new skins, uh, some new sounds. Now, this video ended up getting kind of long, so I'm not going to go over the modeling or the skin section. We're going to save that for another video, and I'll have that out pretty soon. But uh, in this episode, we're going to just focus on gathering all those elements and how you activate them in Trench Broom. I also ran into some small troubleshooting issues, and I think it's good for you to see those, at, you know, both game design wise and some technical issues as well. So let's get started. When you're working with Progs Dump, uh, the correct workflow is to make a new mod directory. You unzip the mod template file and the default name is my mod. So we're working in that directory underneath my Quake Vids directory. Uh, and then inside of there, I've made a copy of the grunt model uh, because I'm gonna be distributing this. Um, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could either add a skin uh, to the grunt model or make a new grunt model. And that's what I've done in this case. So that model lives in the progs directory. It can be in a subfolder, but in this case, I'm just putting it in the progs directory. Here's Monster Army, and uh, what we need to do now is point this entity to uh, our new model. So if I'm gonna go over here in the entity browser, and we're gonna go model body. And we're gonna point it to quad grunt model. MDL. I'm really, I'm still waking up. So I'm gonna hit that. I know it's working because we're using the trench broom FGD that will allow us to see skins and models. This is a separate model in this path. All right, so I've opened up Packscape so that I can uh, assign a sound to the soldier's, uh, you know, alert sound. So what I'm gonna do is, I, and this is just for reference, I'm not exporting or anything because this is built into Quake. You can have external sounds, but we're not getting into that right now. So I'm gonna go to sound items and just take a look at some of the things. We've got armor. And then right next to this is damage. Now there's three damage, that's quad damage, by the way. And you just kinda, kinda know by hearing it. Uh, so damage one is your pickup sound. So that's what happens when you pick up. I'm gonna use that, but I also wanna show you damage two. Now that's when quad is wearing off, obviously. And uh, this is gonna just play when you're firing. So this is kind of the pickup sound. I'm gonna take note of where that is. It's items and it's damage wave. So we're gonna add this. So I'm gonna go down to these sound uh, entries here, these keys, and we're gonna to go to sound site, and we're gonna do that. It's gonna be items, damage. So when he sees you, you're gonna hear the quad damage sound. Now we're also gonna add an effect. We're gonna add the quad effect. And so the effects key allows you to do just four built in, or I'm sorry, three built in effects that you would see on projectiles, or different things. This bright field effect is yellow particles. It's really not in the game. I don't know what that was for, but uh, it's still in the engine. So and then there's bright light and dim light. And to be honest with you, I don't remember what effect is the quad is. I think it's dim light. So we're just gonna go with dim light. So he's got the effect on him. He has his skin. <clears throat> So in order to give him the proper damage, we're gonna to go to the damage mod key right here. And the uh, damage mod uh, tooltip says damage multiplier and four equals quad damage, because everybody knows that. All right, so just a quick review. We've got uh, Monster Army as our entity. We've got the damage mod set to four. We have the effects key set to eight, which is the dim light effect. And we have uh, the new model with the new skin. Sight sound is uh, da quad damage. I'm going to add the Berserk key to this, and you set this to one, and this will disable his pain animations. I covered that in another video, but basically, uh, he will not go into any pain animations. He will just keep coming at you. And that's one thing that drives me nuts about base monsters is their, their pain animation, well, you know, and, and the ogre as well. He falls down, you know, you, you gotta wait for him to get up. And meanwhile, you're unloading on these guys and they're supposed to be lower tier enemies, but this helps you make a little tougher monster. One other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this grunt drop an item. So let's see, uh, let's see, he's kind of a boss, so I'm gonna have him drop like a silver key when he dies. 
and that we would, you know, you could have, you know, vials or, you know, armor or what have you. We have selections here to drop. Uh, let's see, anything else? Health, should we make them a little tougher? Uh, a, the um, default health on a grunt is in here. We put that in the FGD so you would know. And yeah, what I'll do is let me just um, double it. I'll just double his health. Uh, that way, this is kind of a little mini boss. Now, obit method, I'm gonna call it wasted, okay? He wasted the player. Um, the way this works is when used with obit name, we'll set part of the text for custom obituary. And I'm gonna call him a quad grunt. So obit may name and obit method go together and you'll see how that works in a second. All right, so I've discovered an issue. This uh, dim light is shining through the the door here. So that doesn't look so great. So let's let's fix that. The simple fix would just be to have him farther away so that the dim light uh, effect doesn't shine through. So let's see if that works. So now you can see the dim light effect uh, because he's farther away from the door is not on. And so I'm gonna walk up to this door and he's gonna wake up. So the problem with that was that he, we couldn't hear the uh, wake up sound. I mean, he should be making that sound. What I've done now is I've set his spawn flag to trigger spawn and I put him closer to the door because this is kind of the effect I originally wanted anyway. Yep, pretty much every time now. All right, so I'm gonna set his backpack not to fall. This is working much better. This is what I had in mind. So I'm gonna go to the keep ammo key and set it to one, and that way he will not drop his backpack. When he dies, let's see it again. One other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the attack of to uh, the enforcer attack, but I wanna kinda have a on theme projectile. So what I've done is I've gone and found a projectile in Arcane Dimensions. Now uh, you are free to use, for the most part in general, people will allow you to use assets that they've made in other mods. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna give Simon O'Callaghan, or Sock, credit because I've gone into Arcane Dimensions and kind of raided the directory. And it says, all new monster gib models, keys, power-ups, and projectiles by Simon O.C. So, uh, and I also just double-checked uh, by searching for P-R-O-J, which is the uh, prefix on that, and that's all I can find in the readme. So I am giving credit in the, my readme for this, and obviously in the video, uh, for stealing that or borrowing this projectile. So I'm going to put this, I've already put this in the proper directory under my mod prog. So you can see it here, and it's P-R-O-J projectile underscore bolt three. So let's add that to the map. Model projectile. So custom projectile. So I've now I've added that here to this model projectile key. So that should happen when he fires, but I do need to change his attack. And we do that by changing the style. So we're gonna drop this down. We have rockets, grenades, lasers. So let's make that the right thing. Let's save it and compile. Oh, <laughs> it has a trail. So I've done a little sound design. We're not gonna get into that in this video too much, but here's the, con I've combined kind of a new laser sound I just grabbed, uh, just real quick, and then with the quad sound. I put it in the sound folder under quad grunt and quad grunt laser dot wave. So I've added sound underscore attack path here to that new uh, sound that I've created. All right, so this is the path to the head model. It's Prog's H quad grunt model. And uh, I've made him one, I've gave him one health just so I can test uh, and make sure I gib him or jib him uh, with the quad. So let's do this and test it. Now I'm gonna get him. And there are his eyes for the, uh, on the new head model. 
That's it for this episode. Thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video.